people, welcome to the United Stand. Welcome to another road trip. That's what it feels like, but it's not. It is another road trip. Welcome to the flex. I'm back, I'm out of the house. Listen, lockdown is easing slightly and it's great to see. It's great to see I've come out the other side of the pandemic. Football's been back, as you've heard me talk about before. Um, Liverpool have won the league. All right, cool. We knew it was going to happen. You know what, though? I'm not going to lie yet. Although I knew it was going to happen for so long, when it actually happened yesterday, I still had to come on social media and I was still pissed off. And really, I've known for like, I've known since December that they were going to win the league. We thought they might win it last year. So it was always delaying the inevitable. But I don't know, man. It still absolutely pissed me off yesterday. I still, all my Liverpool fucking fans tweeting me and um, messaging me and WhatsApp and stuff. And I, I was considering just actually blocking like good close friends of mine for like, because the thing is, a day's not even long enough. Them man ain't won it in 30 years. <laughs> so I'm like, Coming off, I tweeted I'm gonna come off Twitter for 24 hours. But when, as soon as I came off, I was like, I deeped it. I was like, well, I'm gonna go on in another 24 hours. It's still gonna be there. I'm gonna go on in 48 hours. It's still gonna be there. Fuck, man. When are they gonna stop talking about it? Then? They're not gonna stop talking about it until they're just currently not the champions anymore. So even all next year, these men are gonna be talking about it. But whatever, and they obviously deserve to win it. But whatever. It's just, it's just funny seeing them. Look, if I was gonna choose for them to, when for them to win it, yeah, it would be when there's <laughs> been social distancing and they can't go and flipping celebrate properly. That might sound harsh, but that's just how I feel. I can't care, I couldn't care less for Liverpool. And they're always loved so much by the media. You already see, I'm already seeing flipping comparisons. Look, Liverpool fan, see see what I'm saying? Fucking Liverpool fan. I'm already I'm already seeing fans um, or, 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 or pundits saying like, oh, this is the best ever team there's been. Oh, Van Dijk's as good as Maldini and all. Get out of here. Like, they've won one title in 30 years. 30 years? Like, they've basically done a Leicester. At this, at, this, at this precise moment, they've basically done a Leicester. They've won the league for the first time in ages. All right, Leicester probably, I don't know if they've just never won the league. But you know what I mean. But um, when you deep it, it's way better than Leicester. <laughs> They won the European Cup, Super Cup, <laughs> league. <laughs> but anyway, fuck Liverpool anyway. But yeah, they've won the league, so we're just feeling a bit shit about that. But if that don't kick my United up the arse, I don't know what will. We're on the way to United Stand HQ to meet Mark. We're going to do some content up there in the studio. First time we've been back in it since, um, obviously, all of lockdown happened. And I'm just excited to be... Um, out of the out of the house and just making things happen. I'm on a bit of a come down from hosting the BTEC Awards yesterday. I proper enjoyed that, man. And on that, you know, it's a, it a whole different setup for me. It was a whole TV setup. You know, you got comms in your ear. You're reading off an of auto cue. And I wanted to test myself when I when I knew I had the opportunity to do that. I was proper excited, man. I was a little bit nervous because you know it's different to doing stuff like this. You lot know me. Um, in terms of the content I do with United standing on here, I just put the camera on and roll. There ain't no second take, third take. Whatever I say, if I mess up or chip up, I just say, fuck that, we carry on. Um, but it's good to be able to, you know, broaden the horizons and try new things. And it just goes to show, if you'd have said to me three years ago that, you know, when I left my job um, in teaching that I would have accomplished what I've accomplished so far, I would have laughed. So um, I'm, I'm buzzing about that, man. And in the future, hopefully, I can do a lot more things like that. Still going to be doing the United Stand. Love football too much to so just walk away from that. That's still going to be the bread and butter. But I definitely enjoyed having another string to the bow, really. So we'll see where that where that comes, um, how that how that comes along. And big up to all of you lot who sent me messages of support, bigging me up. Do you know what I'm saying? Saying well done and just showing love, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So yeah, onwards and upwards. Anyway, we're going to get to United Stand HQ. See what Mark has to say. And um, I'm sure when Josh is off the buttons, I might grab the camera. It'd be good to get him on. I ain't seen. How are you feeling, actually, man? This is the first time you've been out of the yard. And, well, well, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, man's been breaking the rules all over. No, yeah, well, you shouldn't have been breaking the rules. No, I wasn't bre shouldn't be breaking the rules. Face uh, protection. Uh, uh, fair yeah, enough, fair enough, fair enough. But uh, I was, you know, sometimes things had to get done, innit? You couldn't just like not not do stuff. So yeah. I done what I needed to do. I wasn't going to like parties and shit. Um, yeah. There was yeah. a lot of that block part, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, was nah, good, nah. How I mean, have you found it though, man? Just in like the whole lot. Remember, because when we was coming back from um, from um, Austria, Austria yeah. it was like it was. It wasn't well. It wasn't really the beginning. Think places around Europe. Where it, it was, it was mad. Already. Everything was on lockdown already. Remember, apart from we, the UK, when we went to the airport, I remember the train, the plane. I keep saying the train. The, the plane was delayed, and they was cleaning it. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They spent yeah, like yeah. 40, 45 minutes yeah, cleaning the plane. That, yeah. And then we got on and it smelled like just like bleach, man. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, we shouldn't have been traveling. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Things like Hey, someone's got to get the content, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for real, for real. We actually put our lives at risk doing that. Um, and yeah, I, I remember thinking like, oh, at, at the beginning we were, we, we were on the phone like a lot saying like, oh, they're just going to end the season, bro. Like, oh, then it was like, actually, nah, in a couple of months we'll be in a different place and it won't get null and voided. And there was just so much going on. Your team have been an absolute fucking yeah. revelation coming back. Big up Arsenal for helping getting us out of the pandemic. Oh, no. with some entertainment. Although they got a lucky ship win yesterday. Um, but yeah, man, it's, uh, we're back. We're back and I'm happy. So yeah, we'll see you guys on the other side at United Stand HQ. Yes, right. I'm already rolling. <laughs> um, what was I saying again? Oh yeah. <clears throat> Yeah man, so me and Darren got something up our sleeves, got a nice little show coming for you lot um, in the foreseeable future. I don't want to say too much about it, but uh, keep tuned in to the flex mate. Told you man, coming to uh, give you that A1 content, not just football all the time. That's what I'm saying, I've got different layers. I want to show you like that, so yeah, looking forward to that. Layers like an onion. <laughs> What is it? Thirty degrees, man. Thirty degrees. This is proper. So I imagine we. So I think we we're going to be going to India for the pre-season tour, man. That would have been. Well, we were going to be insane. India and China again. Oh man. So we've had to make do with the thirty degrees heat in England for a few days at least. So I'm looking forward to that. This is the first. Listen, one thing you lot will know about me and Josh when we do these vlogs, yeah. And it's probably not the greatest because it's not actually. It's not. It's not actually that healthy, but the meal deals that we get, yeah, from, from Tesco. <laughs> I'm starting a diet soon, so I might have to change it up. But this is the first meal deal we've had in about four months. Uh, about four months? Yeah, something like that. And I love a meal deal, fam. Why have I gone through that? Go I, I don't know. <laughs> I still wait for it. Yes, mate. Sanitize. 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 <laughs> Why am I joining in this? <laughs> Chief. You know it's because I'm happy to be. I'm that happy to be outside the house. <laughs> oh, so the meal deals. <laughs> fam, they ain't got it again, fam. It's a conspiracy. Wait. No, that ain't it. I think. You got it. That one. The empty one. Tomato and slow roast feta. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your mother knows. Ain't that one? No, this is my new one. Nah, that ain't the one. Oh, mozzarella and pesto. It's not it. It's not new what. veggies, man. It's not what I wanted. But it will suffice. Actually, fuck that, I'm getting a sandwich. We interrupt this broadcast at some point in time to make you subscribe. Just make sure you do that, because I know you've clicked off before the end. I know it, I've went into the future, I saw it. And now back to our regularly, regularly, regularly scheduled, scheduled program, the end. Goodness. Mm. Popping candy in the dairy milk, listen. Absolutely bang. It's although, like crack. Although I literally, I'm a fiend for chocolate, yeah? I literally would eat every single one of them apart from, obviously you don't get things with raisins in it, why would you do that? Uh, because it's delicious. No, no, mm. that's disgusting. Look, yeah. It says salt, salt and vinegar. What flavor is that, fam? Yeah, they obviously ain't got it. Why are they like... No, no, you know, Empty it all out, fam. Why don't you look this? I was, I was trying. <laughs> no, no, it's none. It's lies, fam. Why are you lying? Every Everything that I wanted, I've had to get an alternative. This is mad. Sometimes that's the way life goes. <laughs> yes, this is a ready salted guy, fam. Always. Have they got a bait one. Yeah, down there, bro. Get out of here, salt and vinegar. No, I'm a sandwich. Do you see? This is what happens in the life. Yeah. People always think it's uh, glitz and glamour behind the scenes because everything ends up looking so crisp in the final version. And you lot have been saying, well, let's see behind the scenes flex. Well, this is behind the scenes. You've got two tripods, <laughs> camera stuff, and a waist that's stuck on the floor. You know, the light, yeah. We did have a fob to get in. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, it does work. Yeah. We'll, just, we'll just use a, a fob to get in. Uh, Goldbridge! Good film. 
Just finished off, it's absolutely baking in it. Um, I reckon it's about 35 degrees, it's 30 odd degrees outside. I'm gonna say it's at least 40 degrees in here. <laughs> baking. No, 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 not a weather man. <laughs> <laughs> How you been finding lockdown? Good. No, I haven't actually. <laughs> that, see, that's like, you know, when people say, How are you? And you say you're good because you don't really want people to know your business. Oh, been. Yeah, mm. lockdown's not been good. Um, I'm tired of it now. And this is almost the worst bit because it's like we've still got the kids at home. We're still working. Everyone's going back to normal. We're still shit. Half still allowed, shit yeah. Situation. And it's like you're half allowed out, but you're not fully yet. There's nowhere I want to go. Mm, and put not, yourself at risk like that. Uh, yeah. Not going to a Liverpool celebration. Um, That's been the worst thing. Not going down the beach because. Is it Bournemouth Beach? See Bournemouth yeah. Beach? Absolutely. I'll, I'll get burnt with my skin. Look here, yeah, you've got a green screen, you can go wherever you want. Yeah, uh, that's true. I, uh, I'd i like to be out of Mallorca in one of the beach bars in the shade, sipping a you know nice cold beer, looking at the beach because mm. I like the sea, not because I'm looking at anything else. Yeah. I've got fatigue, I think. Yeah. Because that was not really over, is it? It's still... Nah, it's not. And I think, you know what, even the game's coming back this week. It's actually been proper full on. Mm. It's been quicker to do the fan cams because the way we're doing it is essentially quicker, but it's still quite demanding. You're up for late after the game. Yeah. The work rate's still got to be there, but it's still be good to have football back, but still oh, Football weird. is more tiring than talking about transfers and stuff, I think. Mean. Yeah, it is because the transfer stuff we were doing is- It's more emotional as well. Yeah, but I think, um, I don't know, the way it's, it's, it's kind of quick, it's gone quick here, yeah, but it hasn't. Mm -hmm. Like when I think flipping it, we're in nearly July already. And you think right at the start of like what, late March it was, 20, 23rd ish of March, I think. And then those three months have just flown. Mm. But at the same time, day by day, it was just draining, draining, draining. Christmas before you know it. Oh, 100%, 100%. Well, we're good. We're, we've got a lot of content coming on the Nightstand. Make sure you head over to the Nightstand and check out all of that jazz as well. I'm out of here. Leave us alone. Yes, mate. Woo! Finish for the day, that is a wrap. I need petrol as per usual. It's 36 degrees, man, I'm feeling it. Like, I hate the heat, man, seriously, I hate when I, I Bro, can't. you more than me, fam. No, nah, I don't, I don't more than you. Yeah. You get baking hot when it's not really that hot. It's not hot at all. That's what you do. Yeah, but it is, because it, it's, it's, always, it's always more than t-shirt wear bar, and then as soon as you wear more than a t-shirt, it's baking hot, fam. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I'm just happy to be out of the house. I'm happy that things are slowly but surely and safely returning back to normal. And I just hope that it kind of, we, we carry on on, on on this like little positive, do you know what I mean? I don't mean football, I mean just in life. It's nice to be able to see something resemble normal life again. And I just hope that something don't spike up again. And you know what I mean? I know there's, there's a lot of opinions about people being doing this, we're gonna get a second spike, this, that and the other, we're 100% gonna get a second spike. I don't know if we are. We might have always have got one in the, in the winter when you know flu season's about or whatever. I don't know, but I just hope that this thing's behind us, man, and it, and it will stay there and just keep improving. We're still not out of the woods yet. Um, we've still got a lot of um, things to do and keep making sure we, we we distance where we can or keep your hands clean and just loads of little things that are, that are changing the way that the world works now. But. I'm just happy to see a little bit of normality. And obviously the fact that we're back busy again and we've, we've been able to come out, give you guys different type of content. Because the things I've got ready for this channel, if we've got ready for this channel, it's like, I just, we just couldn't do it in lockdown. Do you know what I'm saying? We still technically can't do a lot of it now. I'm happy at the prospect of being able to bring you lot. You know what I'm saying? Not just more of me, but more of us. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So yeah, big up for watching today's vlog, man. And actually, more importantly, let us know if you enjoyed it, if you like this kind of stuff, where actually, there's not really one main topic. It's not really like, ah, oh, let me just do a video because Liverpool won the league, I need to do a, a reaction. I kind of want to do a bit more lifestyle stuff, you know what I mean? Show you lot my day, show you lot more of me. That's the whole reason I started this channel. And I wasn't lying, I want you lot to see, I want to say all of me, some bits of private. But, do you know what I'm saying? I want you, to, I want you lot to see me away from United standing in a different light and what goes on behind the scenes, so. And as football starts coming back as well, you'll get a lot more of that. Um, really, I should have done it behind the scenes at, um, when I was doing the BTEC stuff, because that was, it was really interesting, but it was a bit difficult with how busy I was in a day and I wasn't allowed any other cameramen to come with me. But going forward, you're not gonna see way more than just talking about United. So yeah, smash the like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. This is the thing, Josh was saying it as well. Like, you lot are watching the videos, which is great, 
but you're just forgetting to hit subscribe in the bottom right hand corner. Like, what's the point? Come on, remember to subscribe. And um, and you know what? I'll get back to most of your comments anyway, man. We're still growing. We can see most of, most of your comments as well. We've got the time to go through them. So it's good to interact, man. Let us know how you're feeling about this type of uh, vlog concept going forward. Big up.